so now let's have a discussion on nuclear fusion and this particular reaction takes place in stars for example sun now how is the energy of sun generated now the, this question can be answered by understanding nuclear fusion now what happens in sun is that there are gases in sun and under condition this gases fuse together with one another and they form a nucleus of higher atomic mass and along with this formation of nucleus of higher atomic mass there is a release of energy there is a release of energy so in this way we can say that the stars use the process of nuclear fusion now what happens in nuclear fusion sorry fusion as we have mentioned two light nuclei fuse to form a large nucleus therefore if you want to define nuclear fusion you can say that two light nuclei light by light nuclei we mean low atomic mass for example we know hydrogen which has a atomic mass of 1 and a atomic number of 2 so now what happens is oh yes we sorry we were defining this nuclear fusion when two light nuclei fuse to form fuse to form a large nucleus a large nucleus energy is released energy is released and since now why is the energy released since in the large nucleus the it is tightly bonded the binding energy is high it is tightly bonded we can see that from the binding energy curve we can see that when two these two nucleus fuse together it is the resultant is tightly bound and because it is tightly bound there is a release of energy there is a release of energy and this is the whole concept of nuclear fusion now if you want to express this nuclear fusion as to what is actually happening we can do this in this way one hydrogen gets fused with another hydrogen that is the case with our sun there are hydrogen gases and helium gases that are present in sun so this two what it does is it fuses together to form a hydrogen of higher atomic mass this is hydrogen of higher atomic mass of higher atomic mass atomic mass so after this there is a release of e plus a positron plus a neutrino neutrino along with along with energy mev now we have already discussed 1 mev is equal to 10 to the power 6 electron volt so now we can have a idea as to if there is a fusion of just two hydrogen then we have this much of energy that has been released now we know there are millions and millions of such hydrogen atoms that gets fused together so we can have a rough idea as to how much energy does the sun release now this after this particular reaction this two again now see this is 2h1 this hydrogen of higher atomic mass again gets fused with another hydrogen of high atomic mass to give rise to helium helium atom that's h3 helium atom along with the release of a 
and that is a neutron plus energy of 3.27 MeV. So this is the possibility. Either this takes place along with this, this reaction also takes place. Now there is another possibility, a third possibility where, say suppose 2H1 plus 2H1, this in turn gets fused to form a hydrogen that is tritium. This is known as tritium, this is known as deuterium. So tritium along with one hydrogen atom and a release of 4.03 MeV energy. So all of this process keeps on working simultaneously. Either this reaction will take place or this reaction takes place or this reaction or all of this reactions takes place simultaneously with the release of this much, this much and this much amount of energy. So now if we want to go in detail as to the fusion reaction that is happening in the sun. So let's have a look in our next slide. So what actually happens is there is this hydrogen gas that is present. Now this two combines to form a hydrogen isotope with higher atomic mass plus a E plus that is a positron plus a neutrino plus energy that is energy is being released and EV electron now this two neutrinos undergoes gamma reaction and a release of energy now further we have this two we have this that is we have achieved a hydrogen atom that is of having atomic mass greater than the hydrogen atom that is we have deuterium deuterium sorry let me write this in a proper way this is deuterium So a deuterium has been formed. Now what is deuterium? This is having the same atomic number but different mass number. So it is a type of an isotope. Isotope. Isotope of hydrogen. So we had another isotope of hydrogen that was 3H1 that I have mentioned earlier. And this is tritium. This is known as tritium so now what happens is this deuterium isotope along with another hydrogen atom along with another hydrogen atom forms a helium nuclear forms a helium nuclear helium atom with a release of gamma plus 5.49 MeV now this helium again gets combined with another helium atom or helium nuclei which in turn forms 4He2 plus it breaks down into 2 hydrogen with a release of 12.86 MeV. So now you can see this follows a chain reaction. Now, if I take the total of say suppose, if the fourth reaction to occur, the first three reaction must occur twice. Now because of if this has to occur, this has to occur twice. Sorry, uh -huh, yes, this has to occur. The first three reaction must occur at least twice to get this particular reaction. That is, we need two helium nuclei, two helium nuclei. So how did we get two helium nuclei? First this reaction, this reaction, then this reaction. Again, we need another this reaction so that we get two helium nuclei. Now, if I look again, this is 411H plus 
two electron will give me he plus two neutrino plus six gamma plus 26.7 mev so this is my reaction this is actually what is happening now if you combine if you combine all of this reaction if you combine all of this reaction your net reaction is given in this way your net reaction that is h1 e 2 h1 so if you combine all of this this is your net reaction that is happening so this is what you can understand that is the reaction that is taking place in sun therefore in a way what you can observe is that four hydrogen atoms that is four hydrogen atoms hydrogen atoms combine to form an 4he2 atom and this four hydrogen atom forms this with a release of how much energy there's a release of 26.7 mev of energy has been released and this is what is happening in our sun 